everybody, it's Jimmy again from The Deadlies. I am the singer and guitar player for a band called The Deadlies out here in California. And I'm here to say a few words about Mr. Link Ray. Link Ray should be the statue on top of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He is basically the backbone of, of all the good rock music. Surf rock, punk rock, heavy rock. Um, he was one of the first guitar players to use the distorted sound. <laughs> just by cranking his amp up, like my amp is cranked up right now. Uh, he uh, recorded his early hits in uh, his old, his father's old chicken shack on his brother's ranch. Um, his first hit was that song I played at the head right there. It's a song called Rumble, and there can be no meaner sound than going from the dominant seven and resolving to the one. <laughs> Just sounds mean. That simple. So mean <laughs> that they actually banned that record when it first came out in New York and Boston. They were afraid it was going to incite riots. They, that's what it took back then, I guess, to incite riots. A dominant seven to a, resolving to a one. Um, many, many people cite him, Link Ray, as a huge influence, including Pete Townsend. Pete Townsend said he probably never would have picked up the guitar had he not heard Link Ray's music. Also, Jimmy Page cites him as an influence said that he used Link Ray's music early on in all his early guitar playing. Iggy Pop, of course you can hear it in Iggy Pop, Pop just, just like you can hear it in most punk. All those eighth notes. Uh, <clears throat> here's a song. This is a pretty good example of, of Link Ray's style. He would play a melody in the lower register, and then he'd go into a lead, sort of a Chuck Berry style lead, usually on a lot of his songs and uh it just sounds cool it just <laughs> it just sounds cool this is a song called rawhide it goes like this <laughs> like that. Pretty simple. So playing a melody in the lower register and then just going for that Chuck Berry solo. Add a little bit of distortion and it just sounds cool. It just sounds great. Um, so that's my story. That's my story about Link Ray. You should check him out. Still, um, he passed away in 2005, but his, uh, his group is very active on Twitter. And you can see a lot of pictures, a lot of video on Twitter on Link Ray. Twitter slash Link Ray. You'll find all kinds of stuff. Always played an unconventional, or not always, but usually played an unconventional guitar. About the most conventional he got with his guitars was like a SG or a Firebird. But other than that, you'd see him playing a lot of Japanese import guitars uh, or like a Dan Electro. Um, but always had a great sound, just fantastic sound. So I suggest you check him out. All kinds of stuff on the the interweb that you can find out about Link Ray. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me.